Hello, little adventurers. Today, we're going to a place where the biggest of animals can have the smallest of problems. It's the story of Jono and his beloved elephant who's got a fever. The annual animal show carnival is in town, and it's the most exciting time of the year. But Jono seems to have other plans. What's Jono doing? He's standing in front of a fan, trying to catch a cold. <clears throat> 奶泡泡，你不能对着风扇吹呀！你疯了 ！His friends are worried, but Jono has a reason. 我的大象发烧了，我也要陪它一起发烧。It turns out Jono's adopted elephant from the zoo is sick, and he wants to be sick too, showing his solidarity with his big friend. A call from the zoo brings mixed feelings. The elephant's condition is getting worse. And it looks like it won't be able to join the carnival. Huh? 发生什么事儿了？啊！不要！奶泡泡，奶泡泡，快说！大象看样子是好不起来了，所以不让他参加今年的狂欢节了。没有大象，我也不想参加狂欢节。Jono's friends try to think of ways to help. Suggesting everything from sending more blankets to adopting a new animal for the carnival. In a twist of events, the friends decide to visit the zoo to check on the elephant themselves. Little do they know, there's a surprise waiting for them. Hmm. Ah, not like this. Let's go to the zoo. Hmm. 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 Let's go. Last night, thieves broke into the zoo and stole many things, including the elephant's blanket. But this news brings a strange sense of relief to Jono's friends. The zookeeper discovers that the elephant is better. 不成来了两个小偷，偷走了好多的东西。嗯，对对对，连动物园都没有放过，偷走了好多狂欢节的东西，连大象的毯子都被偷走了。你们可真奇怪，来了小偷，你们两个这么高兴干什么？<笑>再说了，跟我有什么关系？哼，当然有关系啦！今天一早起来，饲养员发现大象的病好了。It turns out that elephants prefer the cold, and the blanket was making the elephant sick. Jono learns an important lesson about elephants. They use their large ears to dissipate heat, and the blanket was actually causing the fever. With the blanket removed, the elephant is ready to join the carnival. Jono's cold doesn't matter because his friend is well again, and so Jono and his elephant join the carnival. A lesson learned and a friendship stronger. Remember, kids, sometimes the biggest problems have the simplest solutions.